Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Tonight I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom interactive chatbot for your YouTube live streams. So this is compatible with YouTube. You're going to want to use this for YouTube live streams. This tutorial is not for Twitch. I've had a couple people ask me about this. This is the reason why I'm making the tutorial. Otherwise I really don't make videos like this on my channel too often. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go to the internet. I'm using Google Chrome. And what you're going to do, what you're going to want to do is Google Fussbot, F-U-S-S, -S, bot. And it's going to be the top search result right here, Fussbot chat bot for YouTube gaming. You're going to click that link. It's going to take you to this website here. Now when you first get to this front page there's a big button right here that says free download so you're gonna wanna click that it's gonna take you to another screen here and pay close attention when you get to this page you have to scroll down a little bit to see it depending on your screen size and your resolution and stuff um, where it says requirements you see visual C++ redistributable packages and .NET Framework. You need to download and install both of these before you can even think about running Fussbot. So make sure that you have these on your computer here and the links are provided on the website except this top one I will warn you it says Microsoft.com slash DE when you click on this you're gonna want to change the language because it is in Dutch so once you get down here just scroll down to where it says English or whatever your language may be and, and it'll change the language for you and just you're gonna wanna download it that way I don't know if the versions are different but there's no sense in taking a chance in it so just a fair warning there now the next thing you really need to pay attention to is the two versions of Fussbot that are available you have Fussbot x64 which is for 64-bit windows and you have Fussbot x86 which is for 32-bit windows so to see which version of windows you're running you're going to want to hold in the windows key on your keyboard and press the pause break key which is up near print screen and insert so go ahead and press that and then um, right here where it says um, system type it's under system mine I'm running 64-bit operating system so I would download 64-bit plus bot so just to clear that up we are gonna go ahead and download this I already have this downloaded so I'm not actually going to download it but I'm just showing you guys so once we're done with that you have the two requirements installed you have Fussbot downloaded and installed. You can actually open Fussbot now at this point. So, what we're going to want to do is open up Fussbot. I already have it open, just so you know. And when you get to the screen here, you're going to want to go to settings. Now, before you do any of this stuff here, you need to get on your YouTube or your Google account and you need to make a separate channel like a whole different channel a channel that has nothing to do with yours so what you're gonna do is um, I'm gonna get back on the internet really quick and we're gonna go to YouTube so I'm on YouTube you can see if I go to my channels um, I have this channel here called electrode bot that is the name of my bot so just to show you it's an actual channel it's under my account it's still under my same email you can make separate channels under your same email you just gotta give it a different channel name so we have electrode bot here this is my this is my bot channel now I don't have a lot going on here because this is just a bot channel that joins my stream and talks so now that you've seen that we're gonna minimize and on this top Part here where it says status of bot login not authenticated after you make your new channel you're gonna want to do new authentication now 
when you log in, um, I don't really care if you guys see my email. Uh, and then I'm just gonna scroll this down for the password. When you sign in, for the top one where it says bot login, you're going to want to pick the channel that you made for your bot. What that's going to do is that is going to um that's going to make your bot able to join your chat. Now, I already have all this set up on a whole separate computer. My bot runs on a completely separate machine because I don't like having all the extra stuff. I do have two monitors, but it's it's too much. So, now that we've covered that, we're going to move on down to the bottom part where it says status of streamer login, not authenticated. Now, this bottom one is your actual YouTube channel that you're going to be doing live streams from. So, when you authenticate this one, you're going to want to do your actual channel. So, that would be this channel for me. Now what that does is once you link these two accounts and they authenticate, um, when you go into your um, actually control here, when you go into control, you will see that it says bot account and streamer account. So once you got the bot running um, and it joins your chat, which you do here at the dashboard, It'll show live stream chats, which it's not going to show them for me because I don't have it connected. I guess I could go ahead and connect it for you guys just so you can see it work because it's kind of a pain to um, not really be able to do this. So I'm going to link my channels here. And you do have to give them offline access. Okay, so we're authenticated now. So now we go back to the dashboard. And you see that it says live stream chats, default channel chat. This is the chat you're going to want to use if you're just doing the quick stream option and you don't have any events set up. This one down here is an event I have set up for tomorrow, so don't mind that. Um, so up here, once you get that and you see that, if you hit connect and you got your live stream going, it will detect your stream up here. It'll tell you the delay and it'll tell you the number of viewers, I believe. And once you see that, your bot is in your chat. So you can go through all of these um you can go through all these things and set up uh, a currency system for your bot. Now, you're going to have to do all this yourself and name everything and come up with the cooldowns the amounts um, bonuses things like that there are actually ranks you can add to your to your channel so like once you get a certain rank I think you can make it give out more coins and things like that um, now here commands you're going to want to make your own custom commands here and pretty much if you look up um, Fussbot variables. It'll show you um, things you can use in commands to return a value. So if you do dollar sign author, it'll put their name in a like. Let's say that user does a command. It'll put their name of the user that sent the command in the return message. So you can make it talk to them and things like that. So just a, that's just a quick little overview. I'm not going to get into detail with commands and stuff like that um, because it could get quite tricky depending on what you're trying to uh, set up here. Now you can link this to your Spotify. You can do votes for song skips. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this bot. So also announcements. These are automated announcements that you can set the bot up to do. And you can time these to do either messages between announcements or time in minutes. So whichever you set that to, um, it will wait either that many messages sent between chat or that many minutes. And it will just 
you can randomize the announcements or you can put them all in order here and then just it'll send them all in order over and over um, we have bank heists you can set up custom games for your viewers to play there's there's gambling there's all kinds of stuff so I hope this video is informative because it's there's probably not a lot of people that knows how to do this right now YouTube streaming is not a big giant thing right now so there's a lot of people that's like hey how do I set this bot up and how do I do this and how do I do that and I know some of you may use Nightbot it is available as well and you can kinda just program it to keep your spam down and just not let it do anything else I actually have both bots running in my stream so there's two bots and um, I'm still working on tweaking and programming the bot the way I want it but basically whatever the channel name is and the channel icon is that's what the bot is going to appear as so you're gonna wanna name your bot like whatever your bot name is for your channel if your channel name is pro gamer or just you know just for example you're gonna wanna make your bot something similar to that or unless you're just trying to make a totally creative bot I used Electrode because it's always been my channel mascot ever since I started so that's the reasoning behind that and I think that's pretty much all guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like definitely spread this video around share it with your friends share it with your streamer buddies that that need to set up a bot for their channel and also um, I will put all the links for the websites down in the description below and I'm also going to put in a link to our Discord server. You can join our community for free. Uh, we do a lot of gaming and stuff outside of YouTube. And there's always people online. So join our Discord. Make some new friends. You know, don't come in being rude and obnoxious. Come in and be nice and be polite and follow the rules. There are Minecraft servers you can play on and things like that. So, again, if you're new to the channel like the video subscribe to the channel for more content and I will see you guys next time and don't forget to ring my bell so you know when I upload a video or go live